Lock. There are many different kinds of lock and they often work in very different ways, but one of the most common is the cylinder pin tumbler lock used in padlocks and Yale door locks. Based on a mechanism invented in ancient Egypt, it becomes a winning invention in the 1860s. Thanks to the efforts of American inventor Linus Yale Jr. and the Yale Company named for him. The heart of a lock is a sturdy metal cylinder that can swivel inside an equally sturdy metal housing. When the key is in place, you can turn the cylinder freely and open the lock. Without the key, the cylinder refuses to turn and the lock stays shut. Inside a cylinder lock, there is a sort of puzzle which only the correct key can solve. The main components in the pin and tumbler design are a series of small pins of varying length. The pins are divided up into pairs. Each pair rests in a shaft running through the central cylinder plug and into the housing around the plug. Springs at the top of the shafts keep the pin pairs in position in the plug. When no key is inserted, the bottom pin in each pair is completely inside the plug, while the upper pin is halfway in the plug and halfway in the housing. The position of these series of notches in the key push the pin pairs up to different levels. The incorrect key will push the pins so that most of the top pins are still partly in the plug and partly in the housing prevents the cylinder from turning. The correct key will push each pin pair up just enough so that the point where the two pins come together lines up perfectly with the space where the cylinder and the housing come together. To put it another way, the key will push the pins up so that all of the upper pins are inserted completely in the housing while all of the lower pins rest completely in the plug. Without any pins binding it to the housing, the plug moves freely and you can push the bolt in and out.